keep that for later. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. What should I expect once I'm inside? There'll be people celebrating and feasting, more than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye.
No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Crawls. Of course, Fast is going to win. Just look at him. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. I swear. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue.
Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tap. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I like it, but do I like him? Yeah. Boss. What about Bob? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. Go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? They fell in love at a festival. Suppose it's only fitting to part Get ways. Get down from there now! Oh, what an idiot he is! Every year this happens. Every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. Listen carefully now, for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning, all I heard he'll ask for a mate from all the winds. But not with his girls, but hers at least. Not all Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this.
See you later, Karst. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers Iceland. and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology, straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude, written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Of Nora, the on the eve of your proving, no, the frames the stoutest trees. As those you have nurtured, I won't let the take their places among your braves. We you join your prayers, but they will the stand to come tall to make in the sun. I, won't deny I am chance. grateful for your audience. He's wearing a focus, to be just like mine. Into your You're the only I other think. person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. <sighs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but... You really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. If you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. But take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? 
My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Well, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. 
He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart, you're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters, Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. child but a mother's hope that takes flight a glowing flame that climbs the air set free to the wind sailing the sky till it fades and falls so from one to another passes the chain of love There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy... <laughs> This is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. 
And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us. If only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach. Offer counsel. Give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some thirty lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter. But there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the High Matriarchs requires a majority. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the Proving. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No, well, I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy, but the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. 
Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> I'm saying a prayer to all mother. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. You should cherish it. If Rost hadn't shot my stone from the air, you'd be missing an eye. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. 
This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Razor! Outcast. Looks like you'll need another.
Too far behind. I've got to catch up. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb back. Who's in the lead? I don't want to do this. I can't girl. see. Box, the ball right behind me. Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Gotta keep going. Yes, yes. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. <sighs> Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. She is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among you. Ah!
Quick! Run for the slip wire! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Descend while we have a chance. Get back!
Turn your face to this fucking child. To take her there is blasphemy! She should be near her mother! found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? I need to find my focus. Where's my focus? It's here, okay. Wait. Uh, am I inside the sacred mountain? But 
Only matriarchs are allowed inside. I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... killer. Where are they? I should keep looking. up some kind of signal. It looks like the must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. It's close. There. With the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. You are awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Bring me here. 
It seemed you were dying. And to die in the one's mother was Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mother spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Oh, no. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. The... 
long was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. By the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May All Mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond All Mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder All Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight, lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was... done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was... very little left to recover. 
But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No, but you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, Make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift Nora. their voices, Do we will duty. join ours to, to theirs. Be remembered well when you fall. Coming down steady as a drumbeat. Only matriarchs are allowed inside the mountain. High Matriarch Tirsa made an exception for you, but that's over now. Stocking up? Give our weakness. Show us how to atone. Your will be done. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. These will keep.
Seeing machines like that. Corruption hanging off of them. Mother will hear our song. Need them soon enough. The last of us Aloy! is in order. Aloy! There are rumors Step? of a demon. All mother be praised. You're alive. Every machine it touches. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Resh, then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says... mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart, a tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. What's the danger in the Embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. But the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them. Make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines? They're loose in the Embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear... It's even worse outside the Embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. What are you doing here with- Most of our- I should- I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother protect.
matriarchs guide us. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. If you think Tirsa and Jezza are traitors, why don't you head up the mountain and say that to their faces? Or do you only talk big when your superiors aren't around? I am the Nora War Chief. And I am a seeker, so do as you're told and open the gate. <sighs> The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
gotta get in. But here it comes. Attack! For the Nora! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh, Mother, give her strength! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Today we fight a curse, a demon. Oh, strength. Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders. It's driven them mad.
Ring. How does a machine like that take control of all those striders? I need to know how that machine took possession of those striders. How does it possess other machines? What's it? How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Pull loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <laughs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Graves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Tuck that away.
Ouch. Can't be too prepared.
This'll last. Save these for the trail. That'll keep my stomach quiet. Never know when I might need these. Striders. I can test the override device on them. Should go in quiet. Don't go through all of this to wind up trampling. <laughs> Seems almost tame. I think I could write it. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. them all, but I might find a use for them. Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! Varl, I take it? Am I seeing things? Or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Uh, I was. It's hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the Proving. 
I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. And then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone. And our losses were extreme. You said War Chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did, but Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace, and to guard this gate, to guard the embrace with my life. That was days ago, and since then there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead? If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend, an unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. You said I won the Proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. They said you fought bravely, as did Bost. And my sister. Your sister was Vala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends if we'd had a chance. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. She went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do.
Shot is protect. My whole life, all of me embraced. The world just got bigger, but also more dangerous. for the trail. Are you all right, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Um, not exactly. Then I'm not a hunter, or a brave, or anything, really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Kren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials, at the hunting grounds, at the rise, you know, all my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer, and my bowstring snapped, and I tripped, and... Uh, forget it. it. It wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. And talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd be better than I did. Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the keeper would talk to me. I think he might be an exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the law of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No. No. I'll be all right. My father always said our mother had a plan for me. Before he got run over by a strider, anyway. I need to get going, Kren. All right. Be careful. Especially if you're heading north. And be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up.
I'll find a use for you.